Um, look, I wasn't, I wasn't, I wasn't going to make a video today, but um, I was watching, I was watching YouTube, and uh, there was, uh, there's this, there's this girl. A lot of, a lot of people might, might know about this. I, I mean, she's very famous in the, in the uh, YouTube community, um, spe specifically in the van life community, and um, she. She committed suicide. She jumped in front of a, in front of a train in um, Santa Barbara, and um, it's uh, it's unfortunate that I actually was in Santa Barbara for a short period of time for a for a week or something, a couple of weeks perhaps, uh, back in two thousand and three, um, and I know that I know that train line, and uh, yeah, it's um, I walked along it for a long way actually. And um, yeah, it's very, very sad to hear of her, to hear of her passing. And um, look, I, I was wanting to make a video about this for a long time, um, but I, I, I was reluctant to be, uh, not about her passing, but just about, about the big picture, um, and uh, you know, to sort of, <laughs> to get right into it, um, the Bible. Christianity, and um, I was I was reluctant to make a video about about Christianity uh, about my faith because I didn't want people to um, leave my channel to unsubscribe from my channel just because I I have a different belief and uh, to them and if and if anybody knows me they know that I don't ram Christianity. Uh, you know, I'm not, I'm not constantly walking around with my Bible, being a Bible basher, or, um, or quoting the Bible, or any, or anything like that. It's, it's, it's very much a personal and private affair. And um, look, what is, what is Christianity? I mean, whenever I've felt anxious, I've prayed, I've read the Bible, I've. I've listened to the Bible and my audiobook, and um, I'm still here. I'm about to turn 38, <laughs> and uh, that's thanks to God. In in my view, uh, I was able to quit alcohol completely. I was able to um, quit smoking completely. I've been able to uh, deal with a lot of stress and a lot of pressure from working consistently um, six, seven, eight hours a day, seven days a week for years and years and years and years and years. And that is all thanks to God, you know, and in this book, there is the cure for everything. It's got the cure for everything. And um, it's such an incredible book that Within the cure, there's the cure, and within that cure, there's a further cure. Um, Daniel, for example, uh, the people are encouraged to the the Daniel when he was studying to be, become a master of um, of uh, being a being a counselor. He was encouraged. All of his fellow students were encouraged to eat vegetables and and drink water and. And I think sometimes that can be an answer as well. I mean, you don't, you don't always have to, I've got my Starbucks coffee mug here, you know, but, but sometimes the sugar and the coffee and all that kind of stuff. And, and, and that's in here, you know, that's in here. Um, but whatever your, whatever your problem is, I mean, whether it's depression or anxiety or, or, or whatever, it's, it's all there, you know, it's all there in the Bible, and um, I'm not discouraging anybody from taking medicines and, um, and so on, but, but I do honestly believe that medicines, mental health medicines are, and again, I'm not speaking from a position of, 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 of being informed, but I do believe that uh, it is, the medicines are crude. I haven't taken any of these medicines, but I believe that they are... Um, not completely, not entirely understood. But this is, 
you know, this is, this is entirely understood. And, um, look, there's a reality of the universe. That's what every Christian believes, that the universe includes within it certain inalienable truths and, and, and realities. And, and, uh, the good news of Christianity is that there is a reality that that there is truth and that there is a story that we are a part of and that there is assistance and there is hope and there is help and there is goodness and there is love and there is uh, forgiveness and there is peace and um, look I am not alone in saying that if I wasn't here teaching ESL, if I could choose a, a life for myself that I, I mean, God didn't choose this life for me, but if, but if he could have, I would have been so proud, so honored and, and, uh, there's nothing more useful and there's nothing more helpful in this world. I, I, I believe than, than, than sharing faith and sharing, sharing belief and sharing, sharing these things. So, I just wanted to I just wanted to share that and um, sometimes in these in these moments when we when we lose someone and and I've lost people in my life before I've lost people in my life to to suicide before and um, it just makes me wonder like what's driving it you know why why do people have this obsession with destroying themselves why do they have this interest in in ruining their life and breaking apart their their life and 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 why why is there this force within them and and I believe that it is I mean I don't believe I do believe but I but I also know that it's it's a kind of evil it is a kind of evil and um, I just I just want people to know that look before you jump in front of a train or you jump off an overpass or you jump off a building or you blow your head off whatever it is um, this is frank advice. This is not sugar-coated at all. Try, just try, when you think that all hope is lost, just try opening up this book and reading it and see how you feel after you read it until you're so tired that you can't even keep your eyes open anymore and see how you sleep and see how you feel and um, try copying it out and just see how you feel and uh, try obeying some of the some of the some of the words in this and, and and just trial it out in your own life i mean look for example if i walk around the street as a man without any wisdom in my heart at all noticing every single beautiful woman in the world in a country like china that's filled with beautiful women how can i think how can I focus on anything? What kind of person would I be? So I don't do that. I have the power to turn that off. What if I thought about how, how amazing I was or how, or how good I was, a kind of a narcissism? What, what, what could I achieve then? I can turn that off because I know the truth. I know that I'm only only valued and only loved equally along with every other person. Forgiveness. Can these other people who, who don't have any belief, can they really forgive one another? Can they really forgive each other? Can they really forgive one another? I've forgiven people. It's not easy, but I've done it. I've forgiven people. But look, that's all I wanted to say. And, uh, yeah, that's all I wanted to say. Jesus Christ is the Son of God. He is coming again. I believe he walked on the water. I believe he raised people from the dead. I believe he did all of the things that it says in this book that he said. And uh, that he did all the things that this book says he did. And, and he ob obviously did a lot of things that we, we don't even know about. That he did in, in 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 his time on the earth, in his in his time of of ministry. 
from his, you know, I mean, look, I'm not going to show off my knowledge of it, you know, and, and whatever. This is not what this is about. But, um, you know, from his baptism to his, to his crucifixion. Um, and, you know, look, I believe it's the greatest story ever told. And people say that. They say, oh, it's the greatest story ever told. It is the greatest story ever told. You tell me a better story. Tell me a better story. And he's related to David, the guy who killed the killed the giant. And, you know, it's it's got to be the greatest story ever told. It's got to be. It's got to be. It's got to be. Uh, you know, I, I love stories. I love Treasure Island. I love I love um, all the great stories. But uh, it's it's got to be the greatest story ever told. And um, it's also good news because if you're feeling very, very anxious, or you're feeling very, very worried, or you're feeling very, very scared, or very, very depressed, this is the cure. This is the cure. And I've probably, I've probably lost all my subscribers, and I've lost all my channel, but, um, that's not important. I might have, I might have reached one person, and, um, that's what, that's what's important to me, and, and, um, that's what, that's what's important to God. So, I don't have any regrets.